pioneer of conservative media and a deeply polarizing figure, Rush Limbaugh became the most prominent political radio host in modern American history. Fans, known as Ditto Heads, cheered his brazen style, while critics blasted him for racist, sexist, and other offensive speech. In 2003, his stint as an NFL commentator on ESPN lasted only four weeks. He resigned in the face of public outcry after suggesting that Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb was overrated because of his race. The media has been very desirous that a black quarterback do well. But Limbaugh's popularity survived all the controversies as well as his own personal struggles. In 2001, he suffered hearing loss from an autoimmune disease. Two years later, he admitted a drug problem. I am addicted to prescription pain medication. Limbaugh was arrested for doctor shopping in 2006, but went to rehab and the charge was dropped. Through it all, he remained a hero to the right, defending Republicans from what he said was the biased liberal media, a conservative media icon whose legacy will always symbolize division. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Drone Tech, and as you may have heard, today we lost Rush Limbaugh, somebody who was a titan of talk radio and who inspired the modern media critic movement against what has become the Democrat state media complex. I have my own personal connection to Rush Limbaugh. Uh, I started out hating him in high school because, like a lot of people, I just thought he was a monster because that's what I heard. And um, But my grandma would listen to him, and then I'd go over there and I'd listen to him with her, and then we'd argue about about it and then I'd go home you know and uh, on my own I'd listen to him and then I'd come back and we'd just argue about it and over time I started to kind of see that the things he was saying were true and uh, I basically just was a convert I agreed with him Rush Limbaugh basically is the guy that red pilled me I have to say the very first thing that really got me seeing the corruption of the media was the entire phony soldier scandal, if you remember that. They tried to claim that he was calling Iraq war veterans who were against the war phony soldiers. But if you had listened to the show, then you knew that he was talking specifically about a guy named Jesse Macbeth. Now, Jesse had lied about being in the Special Forces and about having done a bunch of horrible things to Iraqis. Now, of course, the media, uh, being as hateful of George W. Bush as they were, uh, and it was just like Trump, now, it's much worse with Trump, but very similar with George W. Bush. But they jumped on that story and uh, paraded Macbeth around everywhere. Well, then it turned out he was a liar. And Rush Limbaugh talked about it and called him a phony soldier and others like him because there were other examples of it that weren't as big a news. I did a quick write-up about this on dronetechpolitics.com. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description or pinned comment. But essentially, it was a great example of the media taking a quote and just purposely misrepresenting it to the public. We know now that they do that regularly. They, they did it to a lot of people. They did it to Bush. They did it to Romney. They did it to McCain. But they did it an awful lot to Trump. And there's many very infamous examples of it. Leave it to CNN, they wouldn't even let it go one day after Rush passed away to launch an attack on him. And of course, they used a bunch of these sort of manufactured media controversies as proof that Rush was, quote, a divider and will always be remembered as a divider. And I just find it uh, really ironic coming from a guy like Brian Stelter, who is a state media propagandist, is literally everything that he accuses his opposition of, especially when it comes to Rush. So yeah, sad news about Rush Limbaugh. We all knew it was coming, uh, but that doesn't really help a whole lot. I do think the one good thing is that Rush inspired a bunch of people who will now continue the fight. That's all I have for this one. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.